May 30th, 1968, Abbey Road Studios, London. One year and 11 months before the Beatles' breakup, Paul, George, and Ringo are in the studio. Producer George Martin and engineer Jeff Emmerich are in the control room when John Lennon suddenly arrives with a guest. They didn't bring friends into their sessions. They were guarded sessions, per se. So when John took Yoko to the studio, you could feel the vibe change. What are we doing then? Up until that point, the wives' girlfriends never went to the studio. That was their workplace, and the women didn't go. John Lennon's guest was the Japanese experimental artist Yoko Ono, who he'd first met in 1966 in London. Despite John being married, he was soon dating the twice-divorced artist who had a child from a previous relationship. She was very, very aggressive about what she wanted. You know, she stood in front of the gates of John's house for weeks and weeks and weeks. So she was tough. She was much older than John, and she wasn't a great beauty, but she brought something to John that nobody else had. And she kept on turning up wanting to see John, and John would see her occasionally, and then sometimes he'd tell us to not to let him see her. <laughs> People were therefore surprised when they started a relationship. Nobody really took her very seriously. Nobody thought that John was going to take up with her. That was a shock to everyone. After arriving unannounced in the studio, Yoko Ono would rarely leave John Lennon's side. And if John left the studio to go to the bathroom, she'd follow him down the corridor and sit outside the bathroom waiting for him. She just followed him everywhere. Yoko's presence soon became a source of deep resentment. When she came in, it was very apparent the tension that was beginning to build between certainly Paul. Jess, can we make more bass on that, please? And John Lennon was about to make matters even worse. <laughs> 